welcome back. This video, we're adding two things. Number one is respawning, and number two is a nice little connection screen right here. All right, let's get started. So in your room manager, let's add a camera, and we'll call this room cam. And let's just pick a nice angle using this scene view. And with your camera selected, go to game object, and then align with view. And as you can see, now this camera is aligned with this percep with this perspective. <laughs> this camera is now aligned with this perspective right here. Now under this camera, let's add a new UI text. And we can center it over here. And we'll make it say connecting. Now I'll just make some adjustments to the text, just so it's easy to see. There we go. And I'll add a UI a panel, put it behind the text, remove the source image, and let's make it a bit darker. Awesome. And we'll name this connecting. Screen. Okay, so in your room manager, go to the script. Okay, in here, let's add some space. And we'll add a public game object, and we'll call it room cam. And here, where we are spawning the player, let's set room cam, uh, set active. False. So when we're connected, this camera right here will be disabled. Let's drag this in here. Very nice. Let's test. Yeah, this is very awesome. Okay. The next thing we'll do is we'll add respawning. So let's create a public void respawn player. And we'll copy this code right here. And then up here in this room manager script, let's add a public static room manager instance and let's add a new method here called void awake and in this awake method which is called before the start method right here let's set instance to be equal to this awesome now in our health script uh, before we destroy this game object Let's call room manager dot instance dot respawn player. So let's test this out with two players. Okay, so now we have two different players. Very cool. And um, I suppose we kill this one. And we have a very slight issue. So let's actually fix that. Now the issue is, is that this take damage function is called on every instance of this player. We only want uh, to respawn player on the local player. So let's fix that. Now in this health script, let's add a public bool is local player. And we only want to respawn the player if it is local player, so if is local player. We'll call this respawn. And in our room manager, when we're spawning this player, see how we called this function when it's the local player? We can do a similar thing. So we'll do player dot get component health dot 
is local player equals true. And we'll just paste this across both of these. Actually, we can just call this so. Just makes stuff simpler. And I'll rename it. What this did is it renamed it um, in here as well. So I just renamed the function across these three places. And let's save that. Okay, so let's try attacking this guy and he respawns. Just to make this clear, I'll go in this box. I'll just attack him. And we've respawned. Now this is very awesome because now we have a full gameplay loop. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll be adding an ammo system and, and reloading. So, I'll see you then.